A convex lens forms a real and inverted image of a needle at a distance of 50 cm from it. So where is the needle placed in front of the convex lens if the image is equal to the size of the object? Also find the power of the lens. Okay, so here as usual let's list down the things given. So we have given a convex lens and we got a real and inverted image of the object at 50 cm. And also it is given that the image is equal to the size of the object. Okay, so it's easy to answer the first part of the question. That is, where is the needle placed? So, you remember, right? When do we get the image and object to be of the same size? Yeah, actually when the object was at the 2f point, the image also forms at the other 2f point. Okay, so... So we can mentally find out that the object is at a distance of 50 centimeters. But, but let's list down the things given. So it's given that V is 50 centimeters. Okay. And since image and object are of same size, the object is kept at the 2F of the lens and image forms a 2F on the other side. So since one of the two f is 50 the other two f is also going to be 50 and the needle is at minus 50 centimeters okay now we have to answer the second part of the question and the second part asks for the power of the lens so how to find the power of the lens to find the power of the lens you need to know the focal length because power is one by focal length so the question is how to find focal length Okay, so we know that the object is at 2f and the image is at 2f. So we know the value of 2f. So if we know 2f, obviously we can find f. So 2f is 50. So f is going to be 25 centimeters. So now we got a. So now that we have f, we are going to find the power of the lens. So just like how we mentioned in the video, since power has a unit of meter inverse, you cannot simply write power is 1 by 25. You have to convert this 25 to meters. So power P is 1 by F in meters. So that is 1 by 0 0.25. That is 4 diopters.